Painted in 1528, The Judgment of Paris combines multiple elements of high German Renaissance art from the 16th century, including attention to nature and landscape detail, fascination with stylized and idealized beauty, and interest in mythological subject matter. The narrative of The Judgment of Paris is one of love, choice, and their ensuing consequences. Noble Paris is chosen by the gods to decide which among the three goddesses, Minerva, Venus, and Juno, deserves the favor of the golden apple, here depicted as a glass orb in the hands of Mercury. Cranach carefully dictates this moment of choice by placing a cupid in the top left-hand corner of the piece. While the goddesses continue to argue for their respective causes, Cupid's arrow aims down at Venus, signaling Paris's imminent choice. Renaissance art was influenced by the secularization of society at the height of this movement. The influence of the Protestant Reformation, beginning early in the 16th century and coinciding with the secularization of artistic spheres, coupled with the intellectual climate of the University of Wittenberg in which Cranach was stationed, created a secular atmosphere in which popular mythological stories like the Judgment of Paris thrived. In its efforts to revive the art and style of classical antiquity, Renaissance artwork often featured classic mythological scenes like this one. However, Cranach translates this particular story into his contemporary setting by clothing his subjects in proper court attire. Even the nude goddesses are adorned with the luxurious accessories of courtly women, and the noble Paris is clothed in a full suit of armor. The depiction of Venus and the other goddesses celebrates the classical storyline, while offering a stage to display idealized beauty within the artistic fascination of the female nude. The women that are shown are slender and elongated, with little interest given to naturalism in their features. Featuring high, blonde hairlines and slender bodies, the goddesses appear interchangeable, distinguished only by their individualized accessories. Despite the vivid and intricate detailing in the attire of his subjects, Cranach's main display of his artistic prowess radiates from his attention to detail in nature and the landscape scene just beyond the main narrative. Cranach shows his talents as an artist through his study of the painstaking detail he includes in even the smallest of leaves. The combination of mythological subject matter and contemporary courtly dress, attention to landscape detail, and elongated, less naturalistic beauty mark Cranach's The Judgment of Paris as especially exemplary of high Renaissance style in Germany.